The first candidate for Miss Hornet we will hear from is Miss Sydney Renee Thompson. Sydney is the daughter of Rod and Goldie Thompson. At the Hive, she is a member of the BTW Varsity Volleyball Team, the BTW Varsity Basketball Team, and National Honor Society. Outside of school, she is a member of Club One Volleyball and PWP Basketball. Her plans following graduation are to attend and play volleyball at either the University of Tulsa or the University of Oklahoma. A fun fact about Sydney is that her favorite cartoon character is Penny Proud, Miss Sydney Re Renee Thompson. The date, May 16, 2018. That was the day I received the news that I was accepted into the prestigious Booker T. Washington High School. I was so excited to be accepted because growing up I would marvel at the magic of Booker T. I had a cousin in the band and was always so excited when my Aunt Pamela let me come to the football games with her. Now I know that that experience was only a glimpse of what was to come for the next four years. Something my parents have always stressed is the importance of the company you keep. Being a student at Booker T placed me in the company of many brilliant scholars, elite athletes, down-to-earth friends, as well as genuine, knowledgeable teachers and administrators. The culture and tradition of our school is unmatched. It has been shaped by those who have come before us and continues to impact us today. Being a student at Booker T has taught me many things. Number one, don't forget your headphones, especially on double block days. Number two, Always know the schedule of the snack sellers because you're not yourself when you're hungry. Number three, don't ever cross the pathway of the Tea Connection fan because you will be yelled at. And number four, always know where Miss Bar Ms. Artiberry is at all times because she does not play around. But no, really, all jokes aside, I'm so proud to be a Booker T. Washington Hornet. Not only because I, as a young black woman, am seen, valued, and celebrated, but because this is a place where diversity in all its forms are valued. Thank you for nominating me to represent our prestigious school. I really cannot be more excited to have an opportunity to carry on such a great legacy and the legacy of Miss Hornet. Thank you. Our next candidate for Mr. Hornet is Lachlan Rongchuan Reed. He's the son of Paul Reed and Lynn Tao. At school, he is a member of tennis, cross country, co-vice president of class board, and treasurer for National Honor Society. Outside of school, he is a volunteer at the Tulsa SPCA Animal Shelter. His plans post-graduation include attending a university and obtaining a, a degree in pre-med prior to attending medical school. Lachlan's favorite movie is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Mr. Lachlan Rongchuan Reed. I first moved to Oklahoma about seven years ago from Ghana and West Africa. So naturally, as a 10-year-old, not sure what America would be like, I decided to do some research. And no matter what I searched about Tulsa, it came back every time saying one thing. Tulsa, okay. <laughs> now keep in mind, I was 10. But the first thing I did was run to my mom and announce, Mom, I did some research on Tulsa, and everything came back and said Tulsa is okay. We are going to be okay. I did not know okay stood for Oklahoma. <laughs> but as expected from my thorough research, I got here and it was okay. I even got to try Twinkie and it was pretty damn good. As I got older and more educated though, I started to realize that, well, maybe America or the world was not perfect. In fact, some parts aren't even okay. Some past, the Tulsa Race Massacre, some present, social and racial injustice around the nation, still prevalent in society today. Some far, for example, living in Ghana, I had the privilege of visiting the Cape Coast Castle, a fortress imperative to the transatlantic slave trade, and it was a wake-up call to say the least. I was unaware humans were capable of doing to each other what I saw in those dungeons. Racial prejudice is also something very close to home. Having a Chinese mother, racial profiling and stereotyping due to the COVID-19 pandemic has been one of them. I'm not okay with that. Are you okay with that? Because as Hornets, we are the next generation. We are the change. We are here to make society okay. Actually more than okay. I'll admit, I was a little lacking in school spirit when I came here first. But after being immersed in this community for three years, I've come to realize how special Booker T truly is. I don't know how we do it, but we do it all. 
from championship winning athletics to rigorous academics. And as an IB diploma candidate, I understand the latter. Our school is simply the best, and we show that year after year. Our academic pool team, wherever you are, give yourselves a round of applause. Last three years coming home as state champions. Basketball team two, 2019 state champions. Our speech and debate, consistently having national qualifiers. National. Our girls soccer team, ladies, wherever you are, a round of applause, please. Taking home the 2019 state title. In 2018, our boys swim team won the state championship for the first time in 35 years. And as part of the tennis team, our boys have gone undefeated in the area championship for the past four years. It's simple. We are Booker T. When called upon, we deliver. We the Hive are the next generation. We are future world leaders, entrepreneurs, doctors, professional athletes, some of us fry cooks, and working at Canes myself, I know how essential fried chicken is to the country. <laughs> Hornets, we are the change. Let's not make this world okay. Let's make it better than okay. My name is Lachlan Reed. I'm truly honored to be here right now. And if chosen to represent the Booker T. Washington as a 2022 Mr. Hornet, I would love to show that to all of you. Thank you so much.